10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and Linda 3 2. It's behind me. It's people getting ready for an actual oh, show that's going to have people yeah. at it. We have on the floor, please. I don't think back in January any of us thought that, that having our end of year awards our bash was going to be humanly possible, just not feasible. But here we are, through your hard work and through the team's hard work and being COVID yeah. safe, we're doing probably the most ambitious end of year do that the school's seeing. So after a year, 16 months actually, of coronavirus madness, I'm just absolutely thrilled that we've got to a point where we can celebrate your, our students' hard work with an end of year awards show. You've worked so hard to get to a point where there are 15 categories of meritable work of that is yeah. worthy of yeah. nomination and award. And that's come from you, your Sorry resilience, not. your determination, your ambition, your innovation. But it's also come from the teaching One team. Ago, so guys. a huge thanks to all of them for the same, really. Their willingness to work hard, adapt, just keep going and get us there in some form. And the best news is we made stuff. We made stuff where other universities haven't, and that's not to do them down. It's to say that, my goodness, how brilliantly we worked to get to a point where we could do that. So tonight is a massive celebration of all of that coming together to be probably exactly. even That's more a special, a special occasion that the BAFTAs is because of the well, adversity we've like got to work through yeah, to get like. us here. So let tonight be an awards ceremony, not just for the categories, the nominees and it's the ultimate tough. winners, but it's, it's a big win for BATAR the course. All our students, you guys, okay with the all seconds, the yeah, I'm just absolutely eight, thrilled seven, to be able to say six, this is the five, BAFTAs four, 2021. Three, two, one. And Coming out of this now. And fading now. Two minutes twenty ish on Steve. Oh on my God! Two. Hi, are you excited? I can't believe we're presenting this to go twenty twenty one. And let the band know they've got two bad minutes bad. until the first one. Of course I am. It's going to be such a good night, and there's so many amazing awards to be won, isn't there? Yes, there's so much going on tonight, isn't there? Despite the tough year we've had. And three. I mean, out team this BT, two minutes after this BT. Out of this BT, we're we'll going for you pushing forward really quickly. I will. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! You want to hurry up? Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Can you two, can you frame up uh, Okay, so I bought a suit and please. a waistcoat. How fancy is that? Uh, medium Did you say you were going to paint your nails? That's good yeah, for Well, now. Toby, I'm going to have to paint my nails at the airport because I'm running very behind schedule. Should I go with gold or purple? Mm, I'm buying gold. Yeah, gold. Defo gold. I'm sorry, one minute, one, 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 my dress. One minute left oh on this no, BT. I'm going to be late for the 50. I'll be able to see also your hair. Shit in the band ready. Cool. Push it to last minute. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to miss the first song. <laughs> It's not TV hey. without there. Hey! Toby, how far away are you? 45 seconds. Don't even go there. Oh, yeah. I was waiting for the 50, it didn't come. Now it's raining and I'm waiting for Uber and that hasn't arrived yet either. They can't start the show without us. Can they? I don't know. I don't think they can start without us, but to be fair, I think I can hear Gary. 30 seconds. It's 30 not sounding that great, not going to lie. I look like a crazy person walking through Kill Park right now. I think I look like Elvis. No way! I thought I saw Elvis earlier. He was running from the early station. Um, but he had a suitcase with him. Oh, he looks so funny. Indeed. I haven't even got my eyelashes on yet, Toby. Please tell me you've done your eyeshadow. Yeah, no. 10, seconds, nine, nine, eight, look. eight right, seven, I'm gonna do a final six, six, five, 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 four, No, we're going to be late. I'm going to have to get a scooter. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four, now, talk to you. 
we'll go to one next. Come on. Two next. Two. Five. Get a bit closer for me, please. Cut five. Two. Get a tiny bit closer as well. Cut two. And one next. And cut one. Three. Give me a push forward, please. Cut three. Two. Give me a cut ten, please. One next. Cut one. Five next. Cut five. Back to one. Five. Can you get as close to Gary if you can? I know if you can. That doesn't matter. Two next. Cut two. And five. Go back to Gary. Two minutes left on this shot. Cut her in. Two minutes left. And cut to five. One next. Cut one. Five. Can you get an alternative to Rick, please? Five next. Cut five. Two, give me Rick as well. And one, get me a close to the track. Cut, uh, cut one. One minute, Phil. You left on this song. Yeah, this is all ready. Let's go for that. Three, go all the way back and just push forward for me. Uh, two next, cut two, five next, cut five. One, get close to the guitar for me, please. One close up, cut one. And five, get one Gary for me, cut five. Two, get close to the Jimmy's guitar, please. Cut two. Uh, one, Jimmy, okay, one please. minute left on cut this one. song, guys, get the presenters ready. 30 seconds. Tell me when to cue them, Miles. Yep, yep, I will do. Not yet, guys. Not yet, hold it, hold it, hold it. Five next. Cut five. Go one, get me a guitar as well. Two, get me a guitar. Okay, 15 seconds. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And fade in, and cue presenters. And our judge for the first category tonight is a camera operator on Emmerdale. It's Amy Lowe. And judge V2 can actually play it this time. Hi everyone, it's five seconds on this, guys. What absolute joy it was to watch and yes, judge your four films. It's made picking the winner incredibly difficult. Um, camera and lighting skills can range from making the everyday look incredible to yes. making the fantastic uh, just look real. Plate. And from the harsh reality of Ryan's film to Richard's VR escape, from Mark's appearing visuals on this to Jess's expressions of the mundane and escapism. It's really clear to see that the industry has a brave and creative new generation of camera and lighting operatives nipping at its heels. And it is my absolute seconds. pleasure to announce that the award for best camera and lighting Ten seconds, goes to nine, eight, Molly Cook. Seven, for her beautiful six, use of colour, five, her creative use four, of depth and her really three, impressive skills two, in both framing one. and Fade the Fade into one now, cube presenters. Now, unfortunately, Molly can't be with next. us tonight, but here to collect the award on her behalf, it's Lucy Campbell. Got this one. <laughs> that was really neat to go And two next up to me. Ten hours to go. We've got the three. Uh, three to begin your push forward and now. Cup to three. Two next to two. And four. Can we lift that sound up, Kieran? Kieran, that's really quiet. Kieran, is the mic on? Kieran. Kieran? Can you run through there, please? No, no sound? Uh, uh that's all right. Go, go, go. Good. Three, begin moving back now. My bike doesn't work in here. AS1 and number 5 and just one, there's one now. Our next award is for Creative Audio and here are the nominees. 1 minute 37 on this V2. Yeah. 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 Chris Pollard, this festival yeah. delirium. Um, I saw, I saw this, could you run Woo! again? I'm not going to do it. What does it say about how long it takes to kick in? Christ, my throat is so dry. I don't know if you know. Surely it's the mic on the podium. Yeah, the mic on the podium, yeah. Yeah, cute over. Ellie Black, Hylas and Nymphs. Amazing. One minute. He's got maybe a minute. Are we getting that sorted? Do I need to nip down? It's not. Ashley's sorting it now. Right, great. He's got two minutes to get it sorted. There's 50 seconds left on this VT. Ashley's in studio now. That's fine. Don't worry, Sanders, we've got it on the wraps, don't worry. And the of Anna. Jack Lewin, War Photographer. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Showing these pictures of suffering. Ash is just running into the office. Yeah. <laughs> Rural England, home again. He's got about a minute and a half. To ordinary pages on it. 15 Which seconds on the sweet team. Ready, AS1. Yeah. 10, yeah. 9, Just 8, you, 7, yeah. 6, 5, And four, fade in. Three. And now let's meet the judge for this category, Managing, direc managing Director of Whistle Down Productions, David Prest. So the two. Is that playing? Charlie, can you hear it? That's not playing. We need to play the VT, guys. It's crashed. Dennis has crashed. He's crashed. Just keep going. Go back to the second. Okay, go back down. Go, go back to the Go back to them. Go to the centres. Um, okay, presenters. Uh, that VT crashed, but the winner talk, is. Talk, talk, talk. talk. Just talk. Oh, we're just waiting on the winner. <laughs> is that VT going to work? Just no, just say so no. Okay, guys, so <laughs> the nominees were Chris Pollard. So the nominees were Chris Pollard and so Ellie Black. Like you now. And, and Ellie Black. <laughs> and the winner of this was Ellie Black. So the winner of this category was Ellie Black. And I cut this one.
Yeah. And it's too. Can someone get us all this up here? Should we go to a hole? Yeah. We'll finish if you want to go to a hole. I'm cutting a screen. And keep your moving now. Cut for it. And add two. And four. Should we go to a hole? Yeah. Are we going um, to a hole school? I don't really know what yes. to say because okay. I didn't know that Here, I had we're to going to go to the speak. Well, um, well, I would music. like to thank Adam Fowler for opening um, up the Sonic World for me because before it was just making the radio which will. I didn't really. I think we carry on with Radio Let's Studio Radio, but we've created audio and then we'll go to a. Unless you want to make the song now. Do you want to go to the band? Because we can always do the same. No. Right, please bring it out. We'll go into the next award and do the same thing we've just done. And that's one. And back to one. Three presenters. So, our next award is for best editing. Here are the nominees. Nominee view. Oh. Okay, so just read them out. Read them out. Read them out. The nominees for this award. We've got issues with our BTs that are playing out tonight. Have all the time I told. Time happened. So, we're just going to hear who the nominees are. Uh, Tobias, we're going to go to a hold screen for two Havana, minutes while we solve you. technical okay. issues. Okay, just to solve some technical issues, we're going to go to a hold screen for two minutes. So, bear with us. Stay Attention. with us. Don't leave. Oh. Bring up the hold screen for music. Perfect, guys. Don't worry, we'll do all this. We've uh, got Kieran, can we get music on? Get the band to play. There is the music. Uh, no, 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 don't play this. Get the band to play. 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 Get the we just get the band, we just want to get the band. Yeah. Charlie, yeah. is the mic fixed for the podium? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, mic's fixed for the podium. Mic's fixed for the podium. Can we just get the um, band yeah. to perform? Yeah, Charlie, yes. do you want the band to play now? Yeah, just play a song, I don't care what. Really. Yeah, Sorry. If you just restart it, and I'll just cancel the recording. I think that's the recording of the issue. There's no spot in restart the whole of No, 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 no. You just keep on going. Yeah, yeah. We'll if you get the, the, the Venice is okay. broken, just go go with it and yeah. just cut out around it. Whatever you can do. Yeah, of course. Well, we can just get them get to the band to play. The band's got to play. They are. No, no, just hold it on here. Right, contingent she is. If we don't get Venice working, we can just read out the winners and read out the winners and afterwards. We've got all the things on the cue cards. Yeah, everything's on the auto cue as well. So we've still got BTs, we've still got band performances, we've still got the speeches that can be done. So that's still an hour. Oh, that's a programme, that's a programme. Uh, go live to the... Uh, just go to a concert, just go to a concert. Go to the camera, go to the camera. Two. Four, four, four. Four. Go to camera four. five. five. Then there's no screens in front. Can you just turn the program just so you know it's going to So you know what, it's fine. Even if you don't get finished, we've still got quite a lot of the show. It's fine. Yeah, we'll get it. Ellen, do you tell the box to stop? Adam. No, 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 don't tell them to stop. No, don't tell them to stop. Keep going. Tell they're gonna keep going until we tell them to stop, yeah? Because Tobias and Ivana can't do anything out here with the band going on. Yeah, well they don't need well we've got to put an out we've got an audience on Facebook and YouTube we've got to put an out for. So sorry, that'll just have to be on that. Right. Well, I'll figure it out. Right, cameras, we're going to do a bit of cutting of this one, so that's some content. Right. So can you go to, can you go to your band positions, please? We'll just make just it nice and slow. There's two hours and minutes. Come to what? It's fine. Um, so so There's three. Give me a move-in of some sort. You've got the recording running there. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah, just, just give me a second. Cut to two. Sorry, man. Just need to. Give me a slow push-in, number three. Let's cut to three. 
Who do you want next? Such a one. Uh, team, get me a close up of this hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, skip into your full Let's cut to three. Slowly bring it back. Don't worry about the recording. Just three now. Keep it rolling. Gian's playing this side. Okay. It's, it's yes, fine. He's, he's loading it now. He's loading it. Okay. Can I get to play one more song, please, Alan? Okay. Good one. One next. Let's cut to one. Can we write? Just write a quick apology thing. Yeah, and then we'll go from we go from a war three to yeah. see that again. That's where we're at, yeah. So just to confirm it's quite a sponsor. Um well possibly yes, but we're, we're still an ongoing situation. Right. If it we'll let you know if it's otherwise. Okay. Um, everyone we've got it under control. What we we'll do we'll go from a war three once we've got this up going. Right. It's not too much of an issue, so uh, we're continuing on five. Let's put some more Thank you, Captain Spoon Gray. Five next. Cut to five. Two, get a bit closer for me. So you can keep running from where you left off. Yes, please. Cut Captain Spoon Gray. Good to go, I think. Just as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 we're going to test playing out on the preview on it, just quickly. Yeah, so we're doing editing next year, or yeah. we, did, we did editing when I think. Uh, no, we, we haven't done editing. We're going to do best editing. We've not done editing. We've not done editing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start from the War 3. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep putting on it. Yeah. Uh, presenters, if we can get you back in studio, so, um, Jonathan, sorry, music-wise, Jonathan, stop after this. Uh, yes, after this song, can we stop? Yes, yes. Get the presenters back in. Uh, presenters, I'm sure you'll do it anyway. We'll just give a like, yeah, a quick sorry for the time. Okay, alright. Tell everybody this is um, we're just, if you could just sort of say sorry for the technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah, it's in the script. Um, so we're just going to finish this song. Uh, yeah, it's all it is in the auto queue for you. Or you yeah, from a one editing. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, we've got the whole one. One next. Cut one. Okay, three. Can you give me a slow push in place? Cut three. Are we ready to go? Okay, one next. Can we get the bands quite that, please? Maybe you're live. You're live. Yeah. And two presenters. We're back. We hope that from here on out, that normal service will be resumed. The perils of live TV. <laughs> Great. On with the show. Our next award is for best editing, and here are the nominees. And nominees, you too. Well done, guys. Great job, everyone. Great, Great job. job. 15 on this. Thank uh, you, Ivana. Adam Patterson. Thank you, Ash. You're a lifesaver. Of course, everybody likes to win. However, I'm trying to prove a statement, or I'm trying to improve yeah, myself everyone. on a daily basis. There yeah, is more. Thank you, guys. Bigger cities like you know Tennessee. Ash, just just grab him. Ellen, if you can. Ellen, if you can. Ellen, if you can. Ellen, if you can. City lights. Okay, uh, 40, 45. Well, I'm not bad, it's just the other one. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, it's a fucking countdown. And Hugh Ivana. Molly Allen, bingo night. Just save it. 30 seconds on this, 3-2, guys. Nice. 30 seconds. Ready? I was born ready. It's fine, it's fine, they know I can be. Everything's working now, guys. Okay, I can see it's fine, guys. I have to pee! Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. And Q, fade down. And Q presenters. And now, let's meet the judge for this category, a senior editor at ABC Hobart in Tasmania, Dan Yeomans. Fade down. Five seconds. Yes. It's been an absolute pleasure judging these three no, films. I, I always say to my students, if no one says anything about your edit, you've done your job. If you get a compliment, then you must have done a really good job. In the current environment, we're expected to be able to do everything. Edit, parade, and sound. 
Yeah. Unless you're looking at the second link user trait on one, it's going to improve your editing if you have a grip on all of these things, especially sound. You all did such a fantastic job and demonstrated Thank a mature you. approach to editing, which is a rare thing in undergraduate student films. Thirty seconds on this. In Scramble King, Adam Patterson crafted actuality beautifully to support his documentary. Eleanor Cooper gracefully weaved a compelling love story in her mostly silent movie, City Lights. And in Bingo Nights, Molly Allen heightened the comedy of her elderly seconds. criminal gang with the use of clever visuals and music. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner, eight, and seven, the award for six, best editing five, goes four, to Eleanor Cooper three, for her beautifully nice. crafted one. City Lights. Eleanor Cooper. <laughs> I cut to. I cut three. Three in the movement. Now. Cut to three. And two. And four. Three to be nominated. I'd like to say. Thanks to Ian for nominating me, and thanks to Dan for giving a few awards. So have a good night, guys. So we begin moving back now. I cut to three. I'm AS1, AS1, and what? Cut to one. The last few presenters. Now I think it's time we meet the band members who opened the show tonight with Bat Harp's very own house band. It's Run PMC. Two on to Ken, please. So on the drums we have Gary Morris Rowe. And back to one. On guitar five and vocals, we've Jimmy. got Jimmy Ewing. Cut five. Back to one. On bass, it's Ken Longdon. For two. Back and to last one. but not least, lead vocalist Leslie, Leslie McMurtry. And cut two, but they're just in time. Oh, back to one. Guys, just in time, time there. <laughs> 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 really we did break them in last minute, and we really Thank appreciate you, Cam, them taking their time out of their very busy marking schedules to help out with the show. And yesterday we even managed to have a sneak peek into their band rehearsal to see how they were getting on. Yeah, we haven't seen the footage yet, but they were saying BT. something about Gary and a didgeridoo. And Q to VT. She'd have something to hey say in five minutes. Yeah, well, uh, do you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's our leader. Oh, yeah, oh, right, are you all right? Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, great job, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. Great job. Do you want to know why I'm late? Go on. Uh, go on. Okay, so Lee not, Phil, you were not moderating, about down not ratifying degree awards, anything we like that. Like ben Warburton sent your incessant bastard emails, replying to them every flipping <laughs> minute. He's the new <laughs> Harry Oscar, I'm telling we you. Dealt with it so well. Anyway, yeah. sorry yeah. I'm late. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I don't want to play this. We've been trying to get Leslie off your mind. Yeah, I've said, is there any more? You're on mute, Leslie. Oh, you are as well. Leslie, you're on mute. Yeah, it's, not, it's the button at the bottom, Leslie. The bottom left. Just tap it. Okay. Ironic, really. Lecture uh, in the radio. I don't get the sound well. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah really I play Blackboard. Perhaps it's part of this Blackboard conspiracy. You know, I'm starting to see why all the students said the mics weren't working. Just a thought. Maybe, maybe they were telling the truth. Nah. Don't fall for it, Ken. That's what they want you to think. Yeah. Anyway, 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 yeah. yeah. Marking. Yeah, Mark. Mark. Marking. Oh, I'm playing the didgeridoo. <laughs> Leslie, uh, you're still muted. Leslie, you're on mute. <laughs> I'm sure I may have mentioned it once or twice, but I'm the programme leader of V8 Television and Radio Production, and that means I want this to be slick, I want us to be professional. I've got to keep a level head now, but quite frankly, I'm getting twitchy bum syndrome. It's going to be brown trousers if we don't get this right. You know, what is it we've learned from all our years in industry? <laughs> oh, I run his car on and, and they don't bring biscuits. No, 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 not that. I can tell you do yeah. your theory stuff. No, 
always have a backup plan. What's your plan B? That's what we've done. So if we can't perform because we haven't rehearsed, what else can we do? Ah, uh, oh, well, we all know my success with the award-winning comedy team Slaughterhouse Live, so I could do some stand-up if you want. In fact, I've got this really good joke. There's 19 nuns in a band. Uh, <laughs> but no, seriously, I'll do some stand-up. It'll be great. Everyone will love it. Okay. What so, else could we do? Any other ideas? Well, I can juggle with a <laughs> wall. What? What? You <laughs> juggle? Okay, Excellent. might work. Show us. I'll show you. Go on, Jimmy. Two days at clown school for nothing. Clown is on this. I want number two. Brilliant. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. Let's see. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is actually not. Disaster. You're going to kill you. I know, I could do my impression of Moira. Okay, the new boots man. See you, Jimmy. <laughs> Hey, you do that. <laughs> Leslie, that's the hitting you. You're on mute. I'm still sorry, on Moira. mute, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was Adam speaking there? Yeah, Adam. What's going on? That's <laughs> weird. Look at you. Right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Major crisis, guys. Come on, focus. If we don't come up with something soon, we're going to be absolute. Hi. Okay. How's it going? Hi, guys. Uh, how do you get this private staff chat link? Uh, you have no authority here. Well, guys, we just had to see how you were doing before the big day tomorrow. As your talented host yeah. of the event, we needed to make sure that you were just as well rehearsed as we are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're 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 in front of an audience without practicing once. It was the only reason that Final Rounds was such a success. I, I'd never go in front of the camera without looking at the script, obviously. Yeah, I've read your feedback, Toby. But uh, anyway, we'll move on. Listen, we've got... <coughs> in hand okay you can trust your course leader you can trust your course tutors your lecturers we're professionals tomorrow night is going to be slick professional a brilliant performance just call me britney spears from now on they're going into a war okay gone we'll be going into yes. award number four we're stuck we're gonna to have to wing it yeah, bring it. 15 seconds. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Wingit.com. Right, see you tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. See, see you tomorrow. Right. See you, everyone. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Right. Six, five, keep it going, keep four, it going. three. Yes! Two, yes! I got one. it! Finally! You can oh, hear me! And Q presenters. <laughs> so, give it up for our talented, not to mention beautiful bat up tutors! <laughs> Tobias is obviously hoping for that first next year. Now our next award is for Best Level 5 TV Documentary. Let's see the nominees. Nominee V2. Is that player? Yeah. A marathon. Um, you... Have we got that? Can you scroll down a lot? Thank you. Thank you, Toby. Aidan Vincent and Alex Hargreaves run a marathon with no training. Find out. You put your dumpling mug down. I think you're a little bit silly, really. Why? Because you've not trained, you you just do things on a whim. I'm going to run a marathon. Really intelligent. <laughs> and cue up there, Vanna. Emery Hugan and Jodie Warburton. Cheap, caged. Craziness to a minute left on this. Even though I hurt myself in my first experience, it was just like, this is scary, but I don't know. It was like it was like a weird you get on a roller coaster sort of thing, you get what I mean. Like you get on that that ride, you ride before you don't want to get on it, and once you've done it, it's amazing. There's a silent crisis. And a few Tobis. Phoebe Davies, Bradley Hall and Aaron Kerwin. Mental Health, the Invisible and Death. Recent years. 110 suicides were recorded amongst 15 to 19 year olds in 2010. Nobody is going to perform well in any activity if they are under stress, if they're anxious, if they're despairing. By 2017, the figure reached 177. Universities and organisations should really reach out. Yes. It's a countrywide systemic problem. Five seconds, I'll fade down. 
and Q presenters. And now let's meet the judge for this category, former Bat Art student and now assistant producer at Workerby, Basilio Longo. And Judge V2. Ciao ragazzi, huge congrats to each one of you for making this films, for making this far during the global pandemic, for this showing skills, talent and passion that are all different and unique. Yeah. There's a world number four, guys. Run a lot of the window training, which is a very well crafted work from concept to edit and that challenges the audience through humour. Um, then we have Cage, which finds a character that unfolds so many layers of complexity along the film. And then last but not least, seconds. we have Mental Health, The Invisible Pandemic, which is super important film, especially nowadays when mental health needs to be addressed even more. But that can be seconds. only one winner, and the winner showed a uh, richness of the techniques and a uh, very distinctive point of view. So, nine, for these reasons, eight, and the winner seven, is Random Alpha Mind Training uh, by Adam Vincent and Alexander Graves. Congrats. Right, on, next one, oh, no, sorry, next one. <laughs> Cut now. Right, <laughs> cut now. Uh, three begin moving now, he's moving quite quickly. Cut through. And two. And four. Nailed it. Good evening. I feel like Boris Johnson up here. Um, I ran in to be, you know, on brand, but yeah, this is unexpected. Um, I guess thank you to Alex as well, he put a lot of work into this, as did I, obviously running a marathon as well. Um, thanks to Lyndon and Patrick, especially Lyndon's shiny head, got me through every lecture. <laughs> and yeah, I do. Hi mum and dad. Yeah, sorted. Cheers lads! Move again, moving out now. And cut AS1. One next. And cut one. Keep so, practice. the next award, another TV Docs award, but this time for level six. So, who are the nominees? Nominee V2. One so, thank you, Ivana. Anna Guest, Detective Fenwick. I'm not surprised, and uh, I thought, uh, you know, that was, I was really excited. Uh, young, young lad, you know, uh, uh, pitch side watching the game, uh, and I couldn't wait. This is the uh, Lepin's Lane entrance, so this is the away supporters' entrance. So this is where the Liverpool fans would have come to get into the ground. So this is the location where the disaster began and unfolded. And um, Toby. Sophie Coop taking control. Sex work as a modern industry. Tradition wrapped in stigma and negative stereotypes. But with premium clip sites such as OnlyFans on the rise and society's attitude One shifting minute. towards sex positivity, is this changing? We're in Manchester, a thriving city home to diverse lifestyles and ambitious entrepreneurs. This film explores the stories of three young professionals carving out careers within a stigmatised industry. Um, Lauren Charles, My Little Imperfect Life. 30 seconds. The one thing that I've learned is that social media isn't real. It's really true when they say that people only show the good stuff online. 15. You may look like you have the perfect life online, but trust Ten, me, nine, everyone's struggling in their life. Seven. Okay, Cal. Thank you, presenters. The judge for this category is a series producer at ITV Studios, Patrick Tolbot. And Judge VT. Well done, uh, everyone. You did such a fantastic job. They What's all the felt like one? they were by accomplished the directors. In Sophie Newton is... taking control, uh, sex work as a modern in industry. I was I so impressed with the producer. Yeah. Yeah. It just shows what a great presenters relationship. Presenters yeah, yeah. 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 we'll tell how comfortable way. they were in your presence and in your lost great actuality. Lauren Child's My Perfect Little Life. Well, I love Lauren's bravery. The composed and assured storytelling drew you in as a viewer, and there were some beautiful pictures. In Anna Guest's Detective Fenwick, you could see how much trust there was between contributor and director. I love that he was willing to visit 
and Hillsborough in the film speak so candidly. So congratulations, everyone. I loved all of them, but seconds, the award guys. goes to the one film that really struck me with its brutal honesty, Nine, beautiful, nine, with its long story, and it proves six, there can be perfection five, in imperfection. Lauren Childs, my yeah. imperfect. And what Lauren Childs. Oh, she's pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> and let's cut her now. Let's do a quick walk. Come on. Yeah, come on. And now put the ice tree. We're going to tie that one. Three begin with it. And cut three. And two. And four. Now. Dan for making me um, down my Prosecco, so thanks to him. But I'd also like to thank Lyndon and Abby for helping me throughout this whole final project. And this just proves that no matter what, there's always happiness. Thank you. And three pin in black, top three. AS1, quite AS1. Uh, give us a five quickly, and then back to one. One next, cut one. Now our next award is for best audio feature, and here are the nominees. Conservative. Hang on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Six. Happy crash again. Josh, come on. No. No. Play it. Nominees. Nominees. Audio feature. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If that's it, take roosting. Ellie Black. The Twix and Between. Sorry. Scared for that. Sorry. to help, but legally you should not disturb such a fragile being. It may be over the days, but it could be years. You have to learn to live alongside these beautiful creatures. And when the time is right, they will leave. They may come back, they may not. I don't think it ever goes away. I don't think it ever goes. And Hugh Toby, Hugh Ivana. Harriet Porteous, one day. The world will be held each other. Not fight each other. Hope is appreciating being able to look to the future with both a sense of eagerness and optimism. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I'm cute, Toby. Tom Lomas, Braun GP, a Formula One fairy tale. 30 seconds and sponsors. But nevertheless, Braun GP, Do I get we're going racing. It's race day here in Melbourne as we continue with what could shape up to be one of the best Australian Grand Prix. And then the race came round and I was, I was so nervous to start because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get off the line again. I fade down and cue presenters. And now let's meet the judge for this category, who is the controller at BBC Radio 4. It's Mohit Bakaya. And judge B2. Hi there. This is the award for best audio feature. Betwixt and Between, made by Ellie Black, was a really unusual and affecting half-hour meditation I'll remind you again for that, but the way I carry a kind yeah. of liminal space. Anyway. Oh, two yeah, there's only two of them on the table, and they're not all the same It was beautifully award. crafted <laughs> and oddly well, thought-provoking. I'll continue to remind you. I learned that this is not of that kind of harm, I can't. Formula 15. Entirely different from the previous feature, but equally as impressive with Braun. Tom Lomas narrated a terrific story. ASM1, about do you want to just go GP, to a different table, really? Jensen Button's fairy tale big 2009 else. Formula One Drivers' Championship. One minute on this. Despite knowing nothing <laughs> Don't listen to that, Jess. Or having much knowledge of Formula One. I'm <laughs> just stay here. I got well. totally sucked in by the pacey, well scripted. She still does it now, does she? And brilliant <laughs> contributors. <laughs> she does, she reacted as soon as the company. Finally, one day. Well, you know what? Had he that's that's their problem. Show <laughs> a beautifully assembled account of the events of a single day in three separate years. What starts as a touching account of one man's life and death morphs into a photographer's recollections of a bombing during the Iraq, Iraq War. 30 seconds. And then surprisingly shifts the onto the last day last year when the first vaccine for COVID was announced. <laughs> Moving from grief no through problem. horror to hope, all in under 15 minutes. It shouldn't have worked, but it did. Ending on an uplifting, positive note that left me both impressed and unexpectedly. Ten moved. seconds. Nine, Congratulations to eight, all three feature seven, makers. Six, Sadly, there can only be one winner, four, and that accolade goes to two, one day. One. Well done, Hattie. And Harriet Porteous. Harriet Porteous. 
He has so much drive and passion towards his students and the content and he's really helped with this project and it's something yes, that I'm really proud of in the end. So Adam, this is for you. Thank you very much. And move out three, top three. And AS1. AS1. One. one. And cut one. So it's fair to say that the last 15 months of university have been tough. We've battled against a pandemic tackling lockdown, blended learning, moved assessments, blackboard and online lectures while losing out on the social life university is famed for. Yeah, I know I'm not the only one who's missed having a boogie on the dance floor, <laughs> but despite everything thrown our way, Team Batarp have pulled through to create thousands of hours of audio, video and social content. We've written hundreds of essays, been through an awful lot of sanitizer, and at points spent a long time waiting for that 50 bus. Yeah. Luckily though, TV studio lecturer Moira Keane still managed to squeeze in a few bookings at Prezo. Sorry, Moira. So, students, this one goes out to you. Let's have a look back at what you got up to over the last year of Batar. On the evening of the 23rd of March 2020, our lives changed dramatically. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. Yeah, you must stay at home. Coronavirus was spreading uncontrollably, causing the UK to shut down and with it, universities, causing all teaching to go online. Of those who contracted the virus, 10,612 have tragically died. It's unbelievable that people would be so kind. 20,319 have died. While the number of cases steadily declined over the summer, this resulted in universities allowing the return of some face-to-face -face teaching for practical modules. However, despite this, when oh, students crazy. returned in September, the number of cases increased, leaving television and radio production students to face a year of uncertainty, a year of struggling to make the projects that they wanted to, whilst adhering to an abundance of limiting restrictions. But despite the pandemic, over the past academic year, the 360 television and radio production students have made over 49 hours of visual content, over 67 hours of audio content, made over 900 production folders, and have written over 1,600 essays for more than 30 modules. Uh, Eleanor Cooper? I wish I had those anyway. I imagine having really great editing skills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to do it. She did win. Yeah, she won the award, yeah. This is what we did. 30 seconds. You see the back of my head in one of them. I don't know, right? Why? What with Ashley? That's what it's going to be. I like that one. Seconds. No, I'm in a That's me. <laughs> I'm in a Five, four, three, two, and fade down. Keep it. Really this is a water second, guys. I'm going to miss uni so much. It certainly has been a year to remember, and that was so incredible to see the journey that we've all been on with such a successful ending. Have we got yeah. the nominees? I can agree with more. Yeah, you, Ivana. We've trooped through it all and we have some really impressive content to show for it so everyone needs to be super proud of themselves. Well I think it's time for another award, don't you Toby? Yeah, yeah. Um, bring it in. <sighs> right, you read my mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Sorry. Where are you going there with the VCs? Calm down! <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not That's ready yet. Fault, I'm sorry. <sighs> Our next award is for Best Level 5 Radio Show. The nominees are... Bring the VT in. Hi, Toby. 
And you, Toby, sorry about that, Toby. Love is on the air. The potential player to General Candle tonight is 19-year-old Lauren from Huddersfield. Hello, Lauren. Hi. Who knows? This could be the start of something spectacular. So, Jack, are we going um, one that's or two questions? Yeah, you we'll want back for yeah. Oh! Get on, oh, Vanessa. And to Havana. Planet Patrol. Welcome back to Planet Patrol, the show that makes you an astronaut for day from your own bedroom. How amazing is that? And this week we have a very special mission. Let's get astronaut Michelle to talk us through the spaceship. You're in your spacecraft, and it's not a huge amount of space because when we launch Similarly, things into space, it takes a lot of energy to put anything there. Cautious with 30 seconds. seconds. And to Toby. Turn it off and on with Jill and John. In a flashing disco light, things aren't like they used to be with these newfangled tiny remotes now. Get the JNL all-new Mega Remote instead, including all your favourites like up, down, on, seconds. off, all the numbers, and even <laughs> OK. The all-new Mega Remote from JNL, available Nine, from all good stores, eight, incompatible with most intelligence. Six, five, four, three. And now, let's meet the judge for this category, an audio always producer specialising in podcasts, Ben Cartwright. The V2. Hello, I'm Ben Cartwright. I'm executive one, producer on the of the table, podcast at Audio Voice, a creative audio company based in Media City, UK, which basically means I'm making a lot of podcasts in the comfort of my own home, as you can see. So I'm here to tell you about the winner of the Level 5 Radio Studio category, and I'll tell you a bit about what I love about each of the entries that I listen to. And so Love is on the Air is the show that talks about love. Uh, it was a very full show, and it basically felt like it could have been going week in, week out. It just sounded so natural. And I love the live date at the end, as I, as I could have ever hoped for. Next entry, Planet Patrol. Really interesting concept where we're basically taken on a mission to Mars, aimed at kids, and I think they hit the tone perfectly. And the contrary to say, got the access they got to the astronauts was brilliant. It really made it for me. And then lastly, turn it off and on with Jill and John. What a concept. A parody show where basically the grandparents take over. I thought it was really funny. I genuinely laughed when I was on the underground. Um, the and I think there was creativity course. throughout. So well done on that one. Um, so Nine, this year, eight, the winner seven, of the level eight, five six, radio studio five, category five, is three, Turn It Off and On with Jim and John. Faith Tomlinson. the Jill and John team, and to Gary for letting us run with the most ridiculous idea we've ever had, but we had so much fun and we worked really hard as well, so it feels really good, thank you so much. Can we move out, Pop three. AS1, one next, Club one. Our next award is for best radio show, level six, and here are the nominees. Nominees. One minute, 27 on this. And Q of Anna. Q of Anna again. Yes. No, no, just wait. Which sounds crazy to some people, but these women have stood on the floor. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. Yeah. They've had the hair shaved, they've had the eyebrows shaved off, they've had their appearance dismantled. Did you wake up looking like a bruised banana? <laughs> yeah. And Q Toby can get audio this time. Article of Clothing. Hello and welcome to Article of Clothing, the show where we uncover the secrets of the fashion industry and let you in on the best options when buying sustainable clothing. Just to give you some scale of the impact, it's 2,700 litres of water required to build a cotton to make a single t shirt. So, Dane, you'll probably know what to do with it. And Q of Armour. Hi, Jeff FM. How interesting was that? Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, it's five minutes to ten now. And... Featuring the David Harding, Henry Quarter. 
Hello and welcome to the new exciting segment, say the next big thing. I am David Hardin and this is my co-host Henry Drinkwater. And this is Fire and Fire. Five, five, seven, six, and fade out. And now let's meet the judge for this category, a producer for BBC Radio 4, Jonathan Hallowell. And fade in. One minute, five seconds. Under. It's been great to hear these fabulous programmes. I love the way you've been exploring different forms of storytelling, imaginative use of production techniques. It feels like you've really given flight to your creativity, and I admire that. Of course, it's been a difficult year for everyone, and, and that's made it harder to do almost everything in the production process. But I really love the way the students have found ways around those problems. Listening, there are just so many well-chosen, interesting contributors, engaging subjects that have been aimed directly at the target audience. Also, seconds. it's so refreshing to hear so many attractive new radio voices, and many of them from the north of England. But listening to the programmes, there was one clear winner, and for two reasons. First, it contained some excellent, properly researched, well-written and beautifully presented radio that I could easily have heard on Radio 4, but also for a really imaginative and original idea. It was hugely ambitious. And the winner is Hijacked FM. And here's one. Josh Atligan. I didn't realise, did he? Here's two. Let's do a quick cut to five. Radio cut to Gaga, five, then we'll go to AS1, AS3. Radio Gaga, all and we hear cuts. is Radio Gaga. Three begin moving. Radio Gaga, cut to three. Radio Gaga, all Two. we hear is Radio Gaga. Cut to four. Radio Gaga, Radio Gaga. But two. <laughs> I just want to say thank you yeah. to my amazing group. They made the whole process just, you know, a lovely, uh, like, creative process. And overall, I want to thank my amazing, amazing lecturers as well. I've had an amazing, great three years here. And just, well, thank you, everyone. Just go to a random table. Where are you beginning with that? So leave now. Leave now. Got to leave. Cue him to leave, please. So we begin moving out. And AS1. And one next, present this back on, and cut one, the radio drama one, I thought oh, he, Honestly, he this band are insane. <laughs> 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 next up is the best radio drama, right. here the nominees. Uh, nominee V2. Uh, uh, Christopher Pollard, Diamond Hand. We need to upload the meeting for the winner of this. Right, if you don't have it, we'll just read it out. Bring it down. I mean, I'll have the first one. Infinite Money Cheat Code. What's the name of this? Which is going to be so easy. And then it does sound easy when you're talking about monkeys and bananas. But replace that. Like real happy. We need to be real people. We need to be real people. Amazing. Are we going to cut it off at 30 seconds? Um, Hugh of Honor. Alexander Collins' Firewall, an adventure inside your phone. Look, it's like that. Just need to turn it off. I know we've got every shot of it. No, 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 no. So if you get it in, we just need to start it. We just need a bit more time. We can stall at the end of the judge one a little bit. One minute. Yeah, but how long does it take to put these here? You don't know what it's called. Mohamed Shway, Tran, Conor Mullane, Silver City. The NZ is sending people after me and my contact, so my NZ is in my hideout. Me there, there to bring the horror film. There. That's all he said. Have you got what you need? Are you okay to drag it out by about 15 Don't get me involved seconds. in this. I don't work for you, boss. So, after the judge won, I think. It's after the one where they apologise that he's not here. Sorry, not after this one. Uh, Kiwabana? This category is judged by the it. chief executive at Prison no. Radio, Phil no. no. McGuire. Drag it on, please. Drag it on. Oh, this big, to come out of the VT. Come out of the VT. Come out of the VT. Oh, exciting. I can't believe it. And and even though we've got a few technical out, issues, that, it's, a it's, it's a breeze. It's a breeze. Have we got it now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, we've got the winner of the winner announcement. Let the winner announce it. No tears rolled on the face, so we're all safe. The main thing is we can cut to the end. So let's find out who the winner of this category is.
Hello. Do we have the winner? It's been an honour and an absolute pleasure to judge this category. The standard of entries was exceptionally high. Christopher Pollard's ambitious and experimental diamond house to the moon is a joy to listen to. From Alexander Collins, yeah. Fire yeah. Wall, and Adventure in Science with Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrap it. Scrap it. Yeah. Sorry, because I've been a scratch. He's not here today. And from Shwaid Mohammed, Conor Day, and Yung Tran, we have Silver City, so which invites you into a whole new world. Go to that beat, so just say Trap here and stay like it is in the art of all this. Unfortunately, as we all know, there can only be one winner. And in this case, it is. But yeah, no, we'll, get, we'll make sure we get his award to him. Or Firewall yeah. and Adventure Same. Inside Your Same. Phone Same. by Same. Alexander Same. Collins. Congratulations to you all, Same. and especially to you, Alexander. Unfortunately, Alexander can't be here tonight, but we will be sending you one of our amazing Baftar trophies. Yeah, we'll pop it in the post. Then. Well, that's oh, that's you'll get it. <laughs> now, I think it's about time for get another tune from our incredible house band, Run PMC! Please go and quickly cut through. Five next, and we have one next. Five next. Five next, cut on, five. The... One Woo! next, cut one now. Two, can you get a close to the guitar, please? Three, do a slow move out, please. Three next. Cut three. Uh, five next, that's really nice, cut five. Cut five. One next, cut one. Two next. Two. So I start a revolution for my Three next. I cut three. One next. I had one. Cut one. Five next. Step outside the cut five. In three. Go out and then come back in slowly for me. Stand up beside the fireplace. Take that long walk in days. Cause you ain't ever gone. Three, move in for me. Cut three. Five next. Five. One next. Cut one. So Two. Get really close to Ken. Close to that. Three. And I'll kind of see a bit more of his face. Two next. Cut two. Five next. Cut five. Two. Get me a shot of him. Yeah. Cut two. Cut two. Cut two. Cut five. Now. One next, come on. Cut two next. Cut two. Five and five and one. One get close to two, please. And five, two get close to two. Cut five. Cut five. Cut five. Cut five. one, leave three money for your time, please. Cut one, get her. Three minutes left. And cut one. Cut two, get me a bit close up. Three, move it for me, please. And go back to five now. Three moving. Three next. Cut to three. Two next. Cut two. Well, one, get me shot, Jimmy, please. Step outside, cause I'm Five next. Cut five. And three moving really quickly for me. I cut three moving really quickly. And five next, cut five. Keep leaving out five. One next, cut one. So Two, links them together again. Five next, cut five. Two next, cut two. Uh, one, get even closer if you can. So cut one. Two minutes to go, man, she focused. Cut five, cut three. And then two. Next, cut two. Five, get a shot of Jimmy again. Up to five. Right, now one or two, get close up to the other one, just please. One, get close up to Jimmy. Uh, two next, cut two. One, I'll the tower. One, I'll hit the top. Cut one. And two, get into his face, please. In fact, five, get into his face right now. Five next, cut five. One, get on Leslie, please. And cut one now. So two next. Cut two. Five. Just zoom out and take a shot of you the camera. Great guy. And cut five, please. One minute to go. There you go in. Five. 
and cut three. Back one go wide for me, please. I heard you say, Cut one. And so, and five, go five. Five, slow it to me, please. Go on, Captain. Be careful. Cut one. Two next. Cut two. Five, get more of Jimmy's head in face, please. Cut five. One, get really close. Nick, Nick, Zach, Cut one. Don't look Three. back in anger. Yeah, really quickly. Nine, eight, seven. In fact, push him really quickly now. Cut three. Five, four, five. get one of the guitar, please. So two, get one of the guitar, please. Cut two. One, cut one. Three, move out for me. Cut three. One next, one refrain for presenters, please. But wasn't that and cut fantastic? One. Oh my word, are uh, incredible. Incredible, how it's bad. Run PMC! Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh That's my gosh. <laughs> now it's time for another award. This time for the best TV drama, and the nominees are. Nominees each day. Pure Varna. That song was really good, guys. Nice. Yes, Ivana. Really nice work on that, by the way, Charlie. Thank you. Hi, Maya. Team. You're doing brilliant again. <laughs> Never going to be easy, was it? <laughs> You've just got your remaining so far. We've got all the V2s loaded for that seconds. song now as well. So yeah, so we're due to go to the end now. Well done, you team. And <laughs> 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 um, Peter Adam. Peter Adam, <laughs> date thirty seconds. I want. Uh, I just want to be ready to make sure they're away tables. Oh, well then, then yeah, it's exactly like that. Oh, well, I dare you. Yeah. Anyway, surely it's more like date date tomorrow. Charvu. Huh? Ten, nine, eight. I don't get it. Doesn't matter. Six. Fade down. Five. And Q presenters. And now let's meet the judge for this category, a producer director at Red Raw Films, Lloyd Peters. Server two. Hello, my name is Lloyd Peters. I'm an honorary senior lecturer at Soft University. I was once in a previous life head of the MA Media Production Suite of Programmes and a long time ago head of the Performance Directorate. So I'm very honoured to be asked to judge the BAFTAs for Best Drama Award and two very strong shortlisted candidates have been presented to me for consideration, one by Elaine Watson, the other by Peter Adamson. Um, what I found very interesting is they, they were both linked in theme of unrequited love and um, displacement of time and location. Very difficult subjects to pull off, especially in pandemic, I have to say. So great, um, I have to say, I'm very impressed by, by, by your ambition and um, very difficult to separate the two. I suppose I have to choose a winner, and Ten I seconds. have decided to Nine. go for Peter, Adamson, Peter Adamson's uh, Deja Vu. Uh, Main the reason uh, that on. it made me laugh out loud twice, which is a very difficult thing to do. Don't bother saying his name, it's fine. I know, I've got two. It's fine. Don't bother saying his name, it's fine. Yep, that's good. Uh, camera three begin moving forward now. And cut three, two, four next, cut four. Hello, uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all the cast and crew. Uh, well done to Elaine as well, because her film's really good. Um, yeah, thank you. So we begin moving out now. Cut three. And one next. And two presenters. Next up is the award for Best Academic Writing. And we caught up with some familiar faces this week just to announce the nominees. Nominee VT. Hello and welcome. I've never seen a man approach an award so confident. Yeah. 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 Our first yeah. Yeah. nominee is Ellen White for her the essay she wrote called Transmedia Story Well at Ledley. Uh, Leslie Ramona, please, can you please tell us a little bit about yeah, this is a Pokemon Yes, absolutely. Um, so this essay explores how the Pokemon franchise functions across media platforms. 
and uh, this essay is characterized by some very strong textual analysis. That sounds fascinating, Leslie. Thank you for that. Um, our second nominee is uh, Lucy Rogers, uh, and this nomination is for her essay that she wrote for 21st uh, Century Factual TV. Um, Leslie Blaker, could you please tell us a little bit about that essay? Yes, so Lucy's essay was on Love Island and it uh, captured the most important developments in, in the factual television landscape. And it was particularly strong on audience engagement and audience interaction uh, via social media. That is wonderful, uh, Leslie. Thank you for that. Um, and our third and uh, final nomination is uh, Charlotte Fletcher uh, for the, her essay that she wrote for the module British TV Fiction. Uh, Richard, if you're up there, could you tell us a little bit about Charlotte's essay? Gladly, Anthony. Yes, this was a then and now of UK television sitcom focusing on two case studies uh, written by the great Andy Hamilton, one from the 1980s and one from the present day. And it offers some fascinating insights into what has changed about situation comedy and what hasn't. Five, and take down a few presenters. So judges for this category are our very own Anthony Smith, Richard Hewitt, Leslie Blaker and Leslie McMurtry. Um, Otherwise known as the four doctors of that art. <laughs> All the nominations in this category were taken from level six trimester one theory modules. We had the difficult task of picking the best three essays and they were all a pleasure to read. The winner is they were all well researched, well argued and very well written. Uh, that they were Leslie, but as we all know there can only be one winner. Let me check the envelope to see who the winner is. Drum roll, please. And the winner of this award is Charlotte Fletcher for the wonderful essay she wrote for so British TV fiction. fiction. Many congratulations. Charlotte Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going to go anyway, will <laughs> Just uh, give camera five a quick please. Put camera five. AS three. Put now. Three, begin your movement uh, now. And put three. Put two. Four next. Put four. Um, well, uh, what can I say? Uh, Quite a lot apparently, but I will try and keep it brief. I just want to say thank you so much to all the theory lecturers that I have had the privilege to learn from over the last three years, and specifically to Lucky McMurtry for just you know her love and enthusiasm for radio, and it really has rubbed off on me, and it's just made me want to take my academic studies further. So thank you so much. Thank you. Three begin moving out now. And cut three. And AS one. And camera one, and cut cue presenters. And our next award is for best entrepreneur. Here are the nominees. Nominee VT. 50 seconds. Q of Anna. Ellie Black, Mood Rings. Even doing a screen black when listening with only a sleep mode. Mood Rings, let sound be your happy place. Download our app now to start your seven day free trial. Thank you, Toby. Neve G, Sport Women. On female led female sports station. Covering anything and everything female sports fans want to know. And Q of Anna. Ellen McLeod, Disability, DAB. Eight, seven, six. Five, and fade down. Four, and Q three. presenter. And um, now let's meet the judge for this category, the CEO of Radio.co, Podcast.co and Matchmaker.fm, James Mulvaney. BT. Good evening. My name is James Mulvaney and I am honoured to be here to judge the best 
audio entrepreneur Definitely category. Awesome. So, nominee number one is Ellie Black with Mood Rings. Now, I think this is an amazing idea. There's already some this big players in this space. This suggests yeah, it's that it's very commercially yeah. viable if you think about it. Yeah. 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 There's the lots place. of opportunity in this that's idea that's for that's direct monetization, so well done on that, Ellie. Secondly, that's Ellen that's McLeod that's with that's Disability DAB. Ellen, this is an amazing idea for a social enterprise that can see for good in the community and helping lots of other people who are disabled. Our third nominee today is Nietzsche. To come in and sponsor this project and get involved Ten seconds. Uh, with this Nine. particular idea. Okay, now it's time for the winner. And the winner Nine. of the best Nine. audio Nine. entrepreneur goes to <laughs> Neve G with Sports And cut the SS1. Neve G. I like it though, it's good. It's AS2. Yeah, we we'll won't bother coming to the band for this one. AS3. AS3, begin your movement now. Cut 3. Cut 2. 4 next. And cut four. <laughs> yes. Oh, hi. You can't believe we finally seen Oasis live. That was amazing. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the nomination. Um, shout out to my king, Adam Fowler. Um, for a great three years. Nice, really just watch his life. That's not amazing. So yeah. Take it to it. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my fans, um, Jess, Linus, Jacqueline, and most of all, Henry Drinkwater. Um, and also, before I go, I just want to say it's coming home. Luke Shaw, my king. Thank you. Three never, cut three. I love you, Neve. I what love you. Mention. AS1. I want to that. One next. Now, back in January, when the days were cold, Christmas festivities were over, and Media City's pret a were preparing themselves for Simon Stanton Sharma's second semester comeback. It was big. A group of students Simon were set the challenge. They were set the challenge. Gosh, this is a tongue twister this late. A group of students were set the challenge of creating an exciting new weekly event to boost morale on Batar. With Tobias as presenter and a whole team of researchers, producers, runners, cameras, operators, and one questionable director, we spent tireless days and nights creating an interactive game show to reach out to students working from home or isolating in our third national lockdown. In just a few months, the team completed a full 10 episode series, giving away all sorts of prizes from signed books to Mars bars and even a cardboard cutout of Roy Bikini. They faked the death of radio lecturer Adam Fowler and staged a world class collaboration between Sally Harrison and Beyonce. That harp's final rounds definitely had its up and downs, with episode 2 even miraculously disappearing from existence. So let's see some of their best bits from season one. Do you too. Hello everybody. Hello my dears. Hello everyone. Hello, Hello. Hello and welcome to the final round. The show where we get to answer in and all you've got to do is sit back and relax, answer questions and we do the hard work. You can't eat that. That's my face pack. Oh, my face pack. Beyonce and Sally Harrison, the remix. True or false? I've never seen it myself. I just think it's good. It's my moderate pleasure to be giving you tonight's question. I must say, pay my respects to Fowler. Uh, Lots of great names, nothing offensive so far. It's like a party up in here. Then to Axia, she's having a lovely time. I do believe the kids call it Dub Step. Did I meet my wife to be in the 2017 final of the British Snakes and Ladders Championships? Let's see, we've got some very quiet experts in there. Non alcoholic passion fruit martini. Riveting stuff. <laughs> Sorry, <Mario>. oh, <laughs> Greg. 
Lovely. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Goodbye. by Ben Warburton either. Did we, Ben? <laughs> well, shall we have another award? Yeah, I think, I think it's time. So up next is the award for best TV studio show for Level 5. Here are the nominees. Bring it in. Scroll down up, scroll down. Uh, keep hoping. Erin Hughes and Johnny Irving, My Dysfunctional Family. The Mike Pence or C, Joe yeah, Biden. Yeah, I actually lived in America for 11 years, so if I don't get this, it's going to be very embarrassing. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with B, Mike Pence. Okay, so B, Mike Pence, is that your final answer? Yeah, final answer. Okay, let's find out whether that's correct. It was correct. Of course it was going to be. You're going to be. You know that. Um, Cuba Varma. Bobolilski, double tap. All together. So we have 20 hobbies to crimp up. Okay, I've got an estimate. These are my favourite dresses. That's not cool. Time to turn the hashtag challenge. Oh, it's going gone. It's going gone. Oh, yes. And Q Toby. Rory Wallace, Telly Talk. We take a look at the Manchester Productions of Brooks Life on screen with our photographer Liv Flowers. And also we've got a very, very exclusive interview with the star of the latest Disney film. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Uh, BT. Hello, I'm Jennifer Morrison and I'm very happy to be the judge for the L5 TV Studio Award. I thought all the programmes exactly. were entertaining and showed great promise. My Dysfunctional Family by Erin Hughes and Johnny Irvin was well structured and well realised. Double Tap by Tobias Piva and Alice Nalbilski was lively, energetic and created a great studio atmosphere. Yeah, and Telly Talk by Rory Wallace showcased a variety of content. Ten, and the nine, winner of the TV eight, Studio Award is seven, six, Rory Wallace five, for Telly Talk. It was interesting, informative, and well executed. Congratulations. Rory Wallace. <laughs> There's a roller, Jesus. AS2? Not AS2. Good girl. AS3? We begin moving now. Cut three. Two, cut two, four. Cut four. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to our wonderful director, to Ryan Wilkinson, and to our bloody brilliant floor manager, Connor this Wilkinson. This guy's on the drink. Absolutely amazing. Bloody presenter, um, um, Fergus, Fergus Adelaide, and honestly, our wonderful team, thank you so much, so much to absolutely everyone involved. Come on, Italy! 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 Come on, Italy!
続いて現名戦は、セイノメノ。あ、ペースも。
Keep and last us. but by no means least, we've <laughs> come to up. our final award of the night. Best content produced in lockdown. Here are the nominees. The Race, Radio Studio, Level 6. Stop the clock! Dave, you've made it to the Museum of Science and Industry. Uh, yeah, A huge yeah, yeah, congratulations yeah. to you. How are you feeling? Like the one on the very back. It's only four of them. Thank you, Thank you. We're going to be putting different locations on the green screen behind us. It's where you go for a fun place to your friends. Uh, Simba, no, you're okay. No, um, think along those lines. Uh, one minute. Thank you, Toby. Confined emotion, docks without rules, level six. I'm not sure how many days it will be until I get a sense of normality back, but what is normal anymore? Maybe I should take a leaf from his book. Not confined emotion. Hugh of Ireland. Galileo, Dogs Without Rules, level 6. Same now. They must be the same. It must give you the That was the brief. The brief was confined emotion. 30 seconds. One Day Radio, podcast and features, level 5. The time was 3.15 p.m. on the 20th of yeah, yeah. November yeah, 2006. 15 seconds. It was a warm, humid day. No, it's never been going live. It's not even on the screen. Seven. Tony down and cue presenters. And now, let's meet the judge for this category, who is an ex Batorp student, Dorothea. Judge VT. One minute, 14 minutes. Really quiet, really a pleasure and an honour to judge this year's first ever lockdown category. A category that none of us would have expected, but one that I think has really pushed us forward creatively. Before I announce the winner though, I really want to take the time and congratulate all nominees. What you have achieved, given the current circumstances, is nothing short of outstanding. One Day is a beautiful multicultural portrait Galileo and Confined Emotion are both a thought-provoking and raw exploration of what we've all been going through for the past 18 months. The race is a Herculean team effort packed full of engaging and educational content. And last but not least, Double Tap is a fun, warm, light-hearted TV show. Perfect form of escapism. It's been very, very tough to judge. And well done to everyone, but they can only be one way. And the award six, for the best content five, produced in lockdown four, goes to two, the race. And this one. Jacqueline Beatty. <laughs> Let's have a quick camera five. Quick camera five. And uh, AS2, come now. Ah, uh, okay, three. You won't do that around. So you begin moving now. Push forward. Cut two. Cut four now. Absolutely not expected whatsoever. So, um, uh, nothing prepared. But Toby, thanks, I'm also thanks to the winning names that were in my um, grip. And thanks to Gary, our chair. And, yeah, congratulations, everybody else. Three, begin moving out. Cut three. AS1, got AS1. Cover five, cover five quickly. One next, cut one. Huge presenters. Oh, and a very well done there, Jacqueline. Thanks, and a huge thank you to Dorothy. Thank you. Dorothy for judging both of those awards. Now, before we draw to a close, what's been a fantastic evening. We have a little something with some familiar faces on there from previous Bad Harps graduates. Yeah, that's right, Vanna. A lot of you may wonder what it's like like after graduating. Will you get a job? Will you ever earn money? You will, don't worry. Um, let's take a look at this little BT to see what our former students are getting up to in industry. Um, graduate BT. <laughs> It's Tom Levins here, and some of you might remember this face. I was at Salford University until 2020, but currently I am at Cross Rhythms City Radio in Stoke-on-Trent working as an assistant producer. Hi, my name's Tiona Bonsu. I graduated from television and radio in 2020. I'm currently working in casting 
Um, I've been casting for Filthy House SOS for some time now and I'm moving on to Naked Attraction shortly. Hi, my name's Joe. Um, I left off the university in 2021 and I'm the producer of the evening show for Bell Media's History Network. Hi guys, my name's Katie and I am a casting researcher. I graduated in 2016 and have worked on shows such as Saturday Night Takeaway, Pointless, The Chase, and now I'm working on Come Dine With Me. My name is Georgina Ravel. I graduated Salford University in 2017. In the same year, I got a job at Nickelodeon as an assistant content creator and have since worked my way up to producer of social content for all Nickelodeon brands. Hi, my name is Dave and I graduated Bath in 2019. And right now I am a camera trainee. Hi, I'm Megan. I graduated in 2019 and I'm currently a freelance audio producer for a Canadian production company working on American news. Hi, I'm Jordan Shook and I graduated Bath in 2020. I'm currently a production secretary over at BBC working on Dragon's Den. My name is Emma Cloud and I am graduating TV and radio at Salford this year, 2021. I was lucky enough to bag myself for a video on Christmas Presenters gig in 2020. Hi everyone, my name is Harrison Scorpio. I've done a year in 2021 and I'm currently working on Love Island as the gallery and production runner. Hey Salford, it's Hannah Mayer here and I studied BATA a few years ago and I graduated in 2019. Now I'm currently an assistant producer at Global so I'm in the commercial video team looking after all the videos for brands like Capital, Heart, Radio X, all of them. Hi. I've been freelance in the TV industry working on a variety of programmes from studio to location including Ambulance for BBC One, The Voice and X Factor and most recently The Masked Dancer. Hi yes. everyone, my name is Martina Di Giacomo. I graduated from Butter in 2017 and I'm not working in trust and safety at TikTok. Hi, my name is Neha Nakka. I'm a class of 2020 Batar graduate. I'm currently working in children's TV over at Blue Peter. And earlier this year, I was a researcher for Anton Dex Saturday Night Takeaway. I have also been selected as one of the new presenters on BBC Asian Network, and my show airs in November. I'm Ed Norton. I graduated in 2020, and I'm a freelance tech opera producer for the Hits Radio Network. <laughs> Hello, my name's Cameron and I graduated from the Batai Island in 2018. I am now a casting researcher for the Channel 4 television programme, Four in a Bed. Hi, my name is Alex Hughes and I graduated in 2019 and I'm currently the breakfast producer of Stephen Cameron's breakfast show on Metro Radio. Hello, this is Luke Sophie and I'm currently a production coordinator on MTV's Catfish UK. Hello everyone, my name is Abigail Thomas, I'm a graduate on TV and radio. And I'm working at CBC. Hi, I'm Nicole Williams. I graduated in 2018. Um, I'm currently the assistant producer on Hits Radio Breakfast with Fleur East, and we have just won a Silver Aria Award for Best Music Breakfast Show. Hi, my name's Molly Cook. I graduated from the course in 2021 this year. I am currently working at Warner Brothers Studios in Houston in the PFX department on a huge film which will be out next year. Hi, my name is Michael and I graduated that art in 2019. I've just finished up on a new talent programme at Netflix working with the social media team and I'm just about to start a social video editing role at Channel 4. I'm Vicky Hawksworth, I graduated in 2017. The dream is to present, so I work on Gavio, I do an evening show. Um, I also work for Durham On Air and I've just been really lucky the last year to do a few cover shows on Radio 1, so hopefully more will have the Yeah, there really were. It just goes to show how much this course really prepares you for that. Foot in the door. That's our like Tess and Claude. Right? Foot in the door. Like, like, it never fails to impress me hearing about all of the magnificent success stories that everybody at Salford has gone on to live. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Now, as we've sadly come to the end of the show, we've just got to say a number of thank yous. Thanks first of all to Ash Tidball and Liz Sharkey for the ASU Studio Tech Team who made the studio look fit for an award show. That literally saved the show. We also want to thank the host band, Run PMC. Woo! 
the studio and uh, gallery studio crews, as well as our right. COVID marshals outside the foyer and our floor managers for moving everyone around safely. You're all fantastic. <laughs> A special thanks to our producers, Lucy Campbell, Roxanne Asquith, and Ben Warburton, to our director, Charlie Betts. <laughs> An extra big thank you to all our brilliant, fantastic lecturers. Moira clearly wrote this the, the script, didn't she? Uh, they not only helped us get through this year, but they also encouraged us to think creatively and turn negatives into positives. <laughs> we can't thank you enough, and we've learned a huge amount to thank you. And last but not least, a big thank you to all of our judges for taking the time out of your busy schedules to select all of our amazing winners. That must have been so hard to do. Finally, can we have a huge round of applause for all the nominees this evening? You all did so well just to be nominated Back and have created some truly oh, memorable content. Yeah. Well Three done, guys. You've been so incredible. Right so, for all of those streaming online and for all of you watching in the foyer, it's been a pleasure. And here's our fantastic band to play us out. Good night, Good night. and Good stay moving. safe. Cut camera three. Cut five. Five next. Cut five. Uh, two, then we close the guitar for you. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Two, two, two. Three. Five, don't be close on Gary. Five. Five next. One next. Five, go on Jimmy, please. Let me know when there's one minute left, please. Five, can you go on to Jimmy, please? Okay, that's good. I cut five. There you go. One next. Cut one. Ah. What the? Cut five. One, get on Jimmy for me, please. Two, get on Jimmy for me, sorry. Cut two. One, get on Leslie. Five, get really close on Jimmy, please. Cut five. One next. Cut one. Two, get the guitar for me, please. Cut two. Five, get a bit closer to Gary, so you can get Gary. One next, cut one. Five next, cut five. One next, cut one. Five, just get ready to get ready. Three, push in, please. Five next, cut five. Two next, cut two. Five, get ready to get ready. Three, cut five. Two next, cut two. Three seconds to go next. Cut five. One, can you get closer to do with the guitar, please? One. Cut one. Three, can you go all the way back and then push in for me, please? Then get ready, credit. Two, cut, cut two. Five next. Cut five. Three, push in. Three next. Cut three. Seven. Six. Five. Cut four. Three. Two next. Cut two. Five. Zoom in on for me really quickly. Cut five. Are we going to have credits, guys? We're going to miss some of the One next. Cut one. Three. Give me a zoom in. That's really funny. Cut three. Five next. Cut five. Two. Get me one of Toby. Two next. Cut two. Woo! Well one. Get me a banana. One, get me a banana, please. One, cut on the banana, please. Okay, it's kind of gone away. Cut one. Three next, push in again for me, please. Cut three. Five next. Cut five. Sorry, five seconds. Two, give me a close to the less we all give me a bit next. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Two next. Get the bass, keep going, get the bass, keep going. Credit to go. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ready to cut the logo on? And put the logo off the screen. 7, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1